I'm Chantal and uh, I want a mulet uh, but with a fringe and I want my fringe a bit shorter and then a purple color yeah. in my natural color hair so it will be a bit dark. Okay, yeah. and a bit different than the bowl cuts you always uh, uh, Yeah. <laughs> okay, will you turn for them to uh, see how your hair has grown? It's grown a lot. Thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube, could do Chantal's hair again? Now she, you hear it, she wants totally different hairstyle. She sent me a lot of photos of it. <laughs> so let's start on that. And to show in the line of the color we're going to use, I use also cape. Now what I'm going to do is gonna free the ears, leave the parts on the front longer because I come from a short fringe and I want to get again the shape of the skull into the lines and then leave the mullet on the end so it feathers out like a wonderful soft hairstyle. That also will be on the side beards, so that's what I'm going to create. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the neckline because I want to first create the base and the, the, the line in the neck because I love that the most and I have to get the feeling of the haircut so that's why I start in the back not at the front. Over the center line of the skull, part the hairs to the side. and work on the top of the ears. So this is my parting line. Lay the hairs in the line, watch at the fall. Now I want to get the volume up on the top. So I start with the first baseline, just shaping around the skull. using feather knife when I'm in Florida I'm going to visit the stand of askergo.com and I want to get my, myself some new hot razors because I love them more than the normal razors and this is just kind of working like art. Just shaping the hairs, watch what the hairs do, go into the natural lines. Just find the perfect line to work on and find the balance in the underlines. So sometimes you use the tip of my knife and when I'm at the line of the skull line I use my whole blade just shaping the hairs, creating the shape I want. Turn, baby, turn. Pulling it to the front, the hairs. Nice soft line. See how wonderful this looks. So now go to the other side. Have to wet in between. The 
the crowns and the underlines take away after the coloring because she has wonderful shapes into the neckline. You see the hair grows up and then twist to both sides and when you leave this in the hairstyle it will certainly take the hairs aside. So I don't want that to happen so that's why I take them off after the coloring. Again take the hairs to the front and just gently work. No force on the blades because the blades are sharp enough to take off the hairs. Now only the midsection is a little bit thicker. So here I go in with my tip and just like a pencil I take off some of the hairs. So now I have a soft nice falling line. I'll show you from the side so you can see how wonderful her sh skull shape is. And on this side she has also the same crown area as on that side so that's also going to be a way after cutting. Take about a centimeter or two on it. And now lay it in the lines of the skull lines, over the skull bone. And hold the line nice and soft. I think the only thing will be hard is the fringe, the fringe I cut, a strong fringe. But this also to give it contrast. And Chantal is going to be artist, so it may be different than others have. Two parts on the left side. Just lay them over the roundings and follow the natural lines. You see how strong the lines will be, but still stay soft. Going on her right side. Take the hairs up. Work in the roundings. And when I go to the ear line, I travel up. So my line up to the ears is higher. But I give it certainly the rounding that I have on the skull bone. Take a new two centimeters on it. Can lay it in the rounding, start on the center line. Work till I get on the half of the line and then I'll take the hairs to the front on the ear line, watch at the ears and my line is about the ear. Now Florian, dan ga ik ook nog knippen als alles goed is. Ik ga er ook kijken of ik kan YouTube vertellen. Ja, ja, zeker. Dan neem je dan allebei de camera's mee? Nee, eentje. On the center, I take a rounding, take the hairs up, twist them a bit, and then gently soften the upper line.
watch it to full. I think it's wonderful. Just minor corrections, mostly to the sides, because I want to get this running. So I only have to take up this one, lay it in the natural line, and do this the same on the other side. Now I know that I have wonderful rounding on the back. So now I can concentrate on the fronts. Coming on her left side. Now I part the hairs on the line where I think my fringe will start. I lay the upper hair aside. Show you that. The water is dropping enough because I wet it. So now I want to free the ear. So I have to take off the upper lines and have a start line on the front that's short. So take the hairs up, start at the line where I think my fringe will start. And then gently go to the back. And I end on the line up on the ears. Above the ears, I can take off the hairs freely because I know I want a free ear. These hairs to the back, start in the upper line, and leave the length as long as possible. Watch at the fall, where the hairs go to the front and where the hairs go to the back. And very gently, I shape the line. The lines around the ear, I can always do with the scissor, of course, because it's very hard to get into that line with a knife. Twist the hairs around. in the shape of her lines go to the front because I know from the picture you showed me she wants to create something like this <laughs> go to the other side to do the same again parts on the line where I think my fringe will start in a straight line up pin the ass away Take the first line, gently go in, and work in a line to the ear. Take the hairs to the back, leaving length on the end, twist the hairs around and go into the line of a face. Wonderful soft lines. This I will do with the scissor, of course. Now free the upper hair. Knowing that my fringe will start this line, so I also work this line into that line. Holding the same line, work till I get on the ear. So, and this line. I go till I get 
on the ear. So the hairs lay a bit on the ear. Then take the back to the front, connect both lines to each other. Take the hairs from the center line. Watch what they do. Go to the front again. Start at the fringe line. And what hairs on the ear again. Always using the natural roundings. The best way to learn hair is by watching what the skull tells you, because the skull creates the shapes. Then I have a nice free ear, a nice side beard, a nice frame, so you only have to free that small part. Do the same on the other side. Free the hairs. Start at the fringe line. And gently work the hairs on the ear. Take the back to the front, connect both lines to each other. Take the last clip out, lay it has on the line of cutting and working in the roundings again. The upper lines I do by the shape of the skull and you can see the structure of her bones. I love to watch this way because I think hair cutting will be a, a new art uh, thing. And it's also always technical because you have to learn first how to do it because with, without skills you never get a good hairstyle. But it's very nice to play with the hairs just by feeling what they have to do. Now also on this side I have a wonderful soft line when you have to clean out the ear line. So now I can go to the fringe. First lay some hairs aside. Goed schaaf pakken, die lekker knit. Now I know she loves a short fringe. So that's what I'm gonna make her. And the nice thing with her fringe is that it jumps up a bit. Also take away the soft hairs on the side. Going from the side, work to the fringe line. Also on this side, take away the small hairs of the holy bone. Now 
free the rest of the hair. Lay it in a natural fold on the fringe line. Part it on the center of the crown. And lay the midsection away. That's more you did. <laughs> Again, go in at the holy burn. Just gently travel over the line. And leave this about uh, two millimeters longer because this gives rest to the fringe. So this a bit over, so bend the hairs down. Go in at the holy bone. Just a little bit of sticks of furniture. You like see? Hey. I'm three punches. Yes. So now I've got myself a nice strong fringe line. Going to the center part. Now you know already that I did the, the back of the hairs. So now I only go to the center of the hairs, get to my fringe line, take the hairs straight up. You can twist them and already on the center I soften the line a bit. So now I am certain that I have a round shape but also nice falling into the lines. Clean the ear line. Shape in the side beard. A bit with my scissor. With the tip of my comb, I lay the small hairs on the ear. And take away the small hairs. Bend the ear to the front. And only clip the ear line. And this I do, of course, on both sides. You know, you see how wonderful the line is. Now my hairstyle is almost ready uh, in the line of cutting. The only thing I have to do afterwards is to take away the hairs in the neckline. So now I can make her a collar. And she wants to be purple. <laughs> okay, put on the protection, put on plastic foil. So now I created a color uh, of Lacme. I show you the photo and I show you the recept of the photo with it. <coughs> because it's a purple, it's 522 plus, but I put also in uh, um, 659 and that's a red, foot red and then also a blue mixed color. And that in combination with the 30 volumes 9% and just coloring her total hair because in the tops there's still a little bit uh, hair free of color and they will certainly blink up in the hairstyle but that's also lovely and the rest will be deep in purple color. Because it's getting summer, we don't want to bleach the hair. And this way, it stays wonderful in condition. Clean the contour line with the carton wig.
Now I've got all the color on her hair. So close this. We are going for a tea or coffee and uh, you stay just watching because we're back uh, in less than uh, a second. This color will take a half hour without heat. So that's what we are waiting for. And then you see the end result of the styling of this hairstyle. So don't go away. Back from coloring. We leave it on for a half hour, then we rinse it out. I show you photos between the, the, the frames of the video. I show you also the recept for this color. Go to blow dry the hair using a styling foam. This I put on the hair, and then I first take out the hairs on the neckline because the underline is still not clear of cutting. And the hairs that lay in the opposite line I want to get rid of. This can work in. Okeone clipper, I take away the hairs that lay in the opposite lines. I showed you that in the video. See now I have more hairs that lay in the same line and in rest. And I have this on both sides, so I do this also on both sides. So now I have a nice falling line. So now I can dry the hair. So far, blow drying. <laughs> With the use of my iron, I just give it a little bit of volume. That's also the shine to the hair. Now I show you with this hairstyle the smooth version and also the bit wilder hairstyle that you can create with it. But of course first the smooth version, I think both are wonderful and I'll make also photos of both. Minor corrections to the line. Only the hairs from the holy bone because they have now the color and they are mostly ultra light of color so you don't see them. The first hairstyle I'm going to style with uh, just a wonderful soft wax of Keulen. Make photos of this and then we wild it up. It's 
So first Chantal shows you this hairstyle and then I make it a little bit wilder. Chantal, will you turn around to show you this uh, hairstyle to the world? Yes. Now I'm going to make photos of it and then we make it a bit wilder. Er zijn gewoon heel weinig mensen net zo gelukkig dat ze willen fluiten. Now what I told you, this is a soft hair style, but you can also make it a bit more punky. To make it more punky, I use a little bit uh, wax and a little bit gel, mix them together. And use a playable gel. Just mess it up. Ruggelijk, hè? Is het boven? Ja, dat ruik je. Ja, gewoon bijtjes achter je. <laughs> Zo kan het zijn. En dit is de wild version of her hairstyle. Mm -hmm. And that she also show you by turning around. I thank you for watching. Till next time, I thank her for being my mother. Always love it. Bye bye. Chantal, will you show your wild hairstyle to the world? Yes. By turning around. <laughs> And thank you for my link for me. Yeah, thank you too. <laughs> Till next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, I want a mullet, uh, but with a fringe, and I want my fringe a bit shorter, and then a purple color yeah. in my natural color hair, so it will be a bit dark. Probably. Yeah, and a bit different than the ball cuts you always. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, wait turn for them to see how your hair has grown. It's grown a lot. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.